I'm going to go over a sighting report that was submitted to us about a Bigfoot encounter in the Rocky Mountains. It was a treasure hunter that encountered a Bigfoot. It was kind of an eerie encounter searching for forest fens treasure. Here goes his report. Josh Wickham writes RMSO. My very first reaction was quietly whispering to myself, WTF is that? Is that a beagle? It looked like the skull of a beagle dog, only much bigger like four times the size of any beagle I've ever seen. But nonetheless, I saw something for sure. It began with an obsession for Forest Fen's treasure, which led to Yellowstone while I frantically searched portions of the park to help save my life from the consequences I had created, and a million dollar treasure would solve a lot of my problems. Or so I thought anyway. I no longer think it's in Yellowstone, or even Wyoming, but at that time I was convinced it had something to do with the Fire Hole River in Yellowstone. While I was looking for the treasure, I found something possibly even more unnerving than finding a Bigfoot. Really caught me off guard. I was looking for shining things in the Fire Hole River and hopes a treasure chest, only to find two spark plug sockets. You know, the kind of thing you use for a ratchet to remove spark plugs from a combustion engine, and the effing things were part of the rock. They were embedded in the rock. It was obvious the rock had melted over these tools. I have lost sleep dozens of times over this because it doesn't make sense. Also, one of them is still there. I removed the other one with my Gerber like a jerk, but thankfully the other one was too solidly encased in the rock. I went into extreme thick forest near the fire hole swimming hole, and I remember it was very weird experience. I even remember pointing at the thing that suddenly didn't look like a beagle anymore and was a lighter shade of rock so I could take a pee and not lose track of it. I'm of sound enough mind to know something wasn't adding up. I was trying to find a way around the actual fire hole, which after four hours I found my way. But it was territory man had not been in for a while or if ever, at least coming from the nearest roads. The backside was open and a very eerie feeling. Maybe a really little man, but no one my size with a three-day military pack. I'm a former cavalry scout with the U.S. Army. By the way, and I know my stuff when it comes to land navigation because of military experience and many experiences before and after. I had used my land navigation skills a few times recently and even whipped out the paper map for this one because I was driven by greed and desperation. I am no longer greedy, the whole treasure hunting experience helped change me forever as a person. But anyway, when I was walking around the fire hole, I found many dozens of foam flip-flops on both sides of the river. It was extremely eerie, and I think I'm probably one of the only ones to ever see them because I was in parts of Yellowstone no one in their right mind would go. I went to go pee, and when I looked up, the all-black rock seemed to morph into something else. And I was like, WTF. So I took a step in each direction while keeping my eyes on the spot, and nothing resembling what I saw was in sight. I even started talking to the rock, knowing me probably taunting it, because I had my 45 and some bear spray, and I really didn't give a damn about myself around that point in time in my life, to be honest. I recall suddenly I got kind of confused and forgot where the hell I was, or what I was even doing. And I looked at the same spot, and there was nothing there at all now. The damn rocks disappeared or something. I don't know what the hell happened, but I do know I didn't go anywhere and it only took a few minutes because my phone logs my location in course and time. When I put my backpack on, I saw some massive black animals hauling ass towards where the river and road were to the north. They were moving faster than I've ever seen a bear run on video or anything, which is really, really fast, and I became very nervous and worried and kind of terrified, never hunting alone again. For years when I talked about this, it was some sort of bear or moose or something because I just didn't know what I had seen and when I heard the description some of the people gave of Bigfoot, I thought to myself, OMFG, that's what I saw, a family of Bigfoot. I got out of there. I headed back to my truck. It took me till later on that night when I finally got to my truck. I was scared out of my wits. And it was almost 3 a.m. before I got to the east side of the park. And I was hauling some serious ass. Like 90. I saw something that was like 15 feet tall. Barely make it across the road as I was hauling ass around the corner. I never knew what that was either. 
and had always assumed it was a very big moose or something on its way to Tagwati Pass. I got a $300 speeding ticket only a few minutes after seeing the giant animal cross the road. I don't truly know what I experienced, but the thing makes most sense would be a Bigfoot. I'm hoping to find a video of them in many hours of GoPro footage, but I don't have much time right now as I am back in school to get my degree before the GI Bill runs out. Josh Weakum. Hi Josh, thanks for sending us sighting. We spend a lot of time in some of the areas that you think you may have spotted Bigfoot. You think you saw a family of them running down near the Firehole River. The area you were in is a Bigfoot sighting hotspot. Just on the BFRO website alone, there are a dozen Bigfoot sightings in and around the area you were in. So it's a great area for Bigfoot. For all of you watching the video, if you want to see the report that Josh submitted to us, I'll provide a link to that. Justin Meyer, he comments on the blog post that Josh sent us. This is what he says. I'm from Wyoming, and I grew up hearing stories about the river man that roams the Wind River between Du Bois and Riverton right through the reservation. In 1996, I finally got to see one behind some trees on the south side of the wind and within 1,000 feet from where the little big winds meet. I also heard stories of Sasquatch being in and around Yellowstone, including all the way east to Slide Rock, all the way up to Red Lodge, Montana. I wouldn't be too afraid to pack in there, but I would need a group of people to go with me and I would fear the grizzlies. I live in Springfield, Missouri now. We have them here too, but Wyoming is calling me back, so maybe someday I can return myself. Hi Justin, thanks for commenting on the blog post. I've got something else I want to point out. The Snake River is just a Bigfoot highway. The Snake River actually comes from the Yellowstone area, goes down through the Tetons, and crosses across Palisades as it goes into Idaho. The whole length of the Snake River is just chuck full of Bigfoot sightings all the way to where it empties into the Columbia. The Bigfoot may be following the Wind River, but also follows the Snake River, and the Snake River comes in and out of this area. So a great highway for animals and Bigfoot that gives them the resources they need to travel. Such a great report in the area that a treasure hunter running into the Bigfoot gotta love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep on watching. We're gonna keep on squatching.